Hey guys, how's it going? Masbro here. Welcome to another edition of Minecraft Super Seed Spotlights. And check out this spawn. We've got a desert village in a Badlands biome and partially in a taiga biome. And we've also got one of the tiniest mushroom biomes that you'll ever see. I mean, they, 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 they come smaller, but... I mean, this is tiny. This is tiny. And the fact that it's not in the middle of the ocean, in fact, there's no ocean nearby. There's just a little lake. That makes it super rare. Just a tiny little spot for you to farm your poor little mushrooms. Mushrooms. I didn't mean to say mushrooms. But it's not about spawn, even though this location is pretty awesome. There's a lot more things going on in this seed. Let's check it out. Here's the second closest village to the spawn. It's pretty decent. Partially, it's on top of the savanna plateau. Multi-leveled, I like it. There's a ravine going under it, but unfortunately, it's not really... I mean, I was hoping it would split the village in two, but unfortunately, it just goes under. But we do have parts of the village generating at the bottom of the ravine, namely these roads over here. So let's check some of the really important biomes that we have in this world. We do have a giant tree taiga biome within 2,000 blocks of spawn right here. One of the rarest biomes in game alongside the Badlands biome, so it's nice to know that it's uh, not too far. It's always really nice to have ocean monuments near spawn, and over here we have two side by side, pretty close to each other. Nice formation of lonely islands, and on the ocean monument on the right side over here, it's actually right next to a ruined portal. That's how it looks, and this, again, is not too far away from spawn. It's give or take, I guess, around 1,000 blocks, so it's not too bad. And we do have a ravine, very small ravine, going under the ocean monument. This is a really nice looking village. It's just a lonely island village and a very small piece of land. The village has docks going out all the way into the waters. It's also set on a sunflower plains biome, which is pretty rare. I mean, it's not as common as the usual plains biome. Yeah, that, sunflowers. Looking pretty good from this angle. Uh, hello there. Whoa, okay, that just loaded up. Uh, at first, I was gonna skip this village. I was about to. Uh, let, let me just update the coordinates real quick. Alright, so literally I was about to omit this part from the video just because when I teleported here, it only loaded that part of the Shattered Savannah. I thought, well, that's a pretty small Shattered Savannah. And then suddenly, boom, that thing popped up and then boom, the whole neighborhood actually popped up like around, I guess, a minute later because a uh, slow PC. But yeah, this is actually a really cool spot. If you ever get bored of spawn, there's a huge plains area to build on. It's relatively flat, which makes it easier. And the backdrop is just amazing. I mean, this is a... It's a massive Shattered Savannah. It's circular. It's forming this sort of U-shape. So you get a really nice view from any angle if you're building from that side. And of course, to top it off, there's a little centerpiece down here. The Ruined Portal right in the middle of the lake. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you know, even though Spawn was awesome, <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be the screenshot. Because, oh man, that, that just looks sweet, doesn't it? Alright, so I was flying across to the other side of that Shattered Savanna, and turns out there's a Pillager's Outpost here as well. I mean, you can see that piece of flying rock, you probably noticed that earlier, uh, a few seconds ago. It's really useful to have a Pillager's Outpost, of course, one of the best loot farms in the game. So I'm leaning more and more towards using that spot behind this Shattered Savanna as your building location. That was just awesome. I might even consider using that as one of my new seeds for my new worlds, just cause that circular shape and the massive plains area, that was just such a good combo. Yeah, that Shattered Savannah basically stole the limelight from the spawn. I mean, this video was supposed to be about the spawn. So we're back at spawn, and uh, one thing we haven't checked out on the video is spawners. Yeah, there were supposed to be two spawners here, but I, I can't find the other one. Ooh, diamonds. Wait. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, right, so we have two spawners very close to each other. Very convenient. Oh, I need to update the coordinates. Right, so now the coordinates are accurate on your screen. Spider spawner to the left, and then zombie spawner to the right, and uh, lots of geodes around, so if you're into farming for that as well, this is a good spot. Right, so we have another double spawner over here, this time it's both a zombie spawner, so that's a little bit more convenient for farming. Alright, just before closing this off, this is the overall world view of this seed. You spawn right here in that tiny mushroom biome, massive badlands biome surrounding you, and of course, to your top right was the highlight of the seed. I mean, it wasn't planned to be so, but finally at the end, that village by the Shattered Savanna just wins it. Oh, and what I didn't notice is that there's actually another Shattered Savanna right next to that first one. I guess let's just go check it out before ending the video. All right, so we're back here. So supposedly if I just go around, there's supposed to be another massive one right behind this one. I'm just curious to see if it actually looks good. Okay, that was the first one, and that's the second one. Yeah, this one's okay, this one's okay, but uh, to, to be honest, that first one, that was just perfect. But anyway, let's just uh, stand up here and uh, say goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the seed. By the way, uh, let me know if you're looking for anything specific on seeds, and I'll try and help you look for them. Do let me know as well what was your favorite part of this seed, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.